Well, top of the day to you guys. How are you going? Sky Pilot here. Today, something a little bit different. This is my daily driver for charging up all of my LiPos. Um, it's a good solid unit. However, it is fairly cumbersome and um, yeah, it does take up a little bit of space, even though it is a fabulous unit. Today, I'm going to show you guys something that I have recently received from my good friends at GT Power which I'm fairly certain is going to yeah, replace my good old trusty IMAX. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what the heck I'm on about. This is what I am on about. So I have, as mentioned, some new chargers here these are hot off the press guys just been released and are available in stores right away i'm going to have some links down below as to where you can get these from if you are in australia like myself these are on their way they're currently being flown in so by the time you get cracking and possibly order one they should be in stock and the little mini is in stock as we speak so what do we have here exactly We'll start with these two big boys here. So this is the two channel. They call it the GT Power, as I said before, made by GT Power. It's the 2X Mini. It's a two channel in intelligent charger. And this charges up all of your goodies, guys. So LiPo, Life, LiHV, Lion, Nicomil Hydride, Cadmium, PB, the whole lot. They both look exactly the same. However, shortly when I do the open up, you'll see there's a couple of small differences. Obviously, the difference is this is a two-channel charger and this is a four-channel charger. So this one, 200 watts maximum. And this one here is 400 watt maximum. So you can balance charge four at once on here and two at once on the 2x mini let's quickly crack on into the 2x mini see what you get run through some text and specs and give her a power up and i'll show you guys how it works weighs in at 554 grams and dimensions 137 by 141 by 55 that's enough chit chat let's get into the box and let's check out this cool little charger and see what you get a nice not too small instruction manual which is really really handy because I can actually read this without using my magnifying glass which is pretty cool okay the charger itself and a bit of packaging and down the bottom is a power cord for your power supply and obviously I have an Australian one here as I am in Australia Nearly knocked my beer over. Looks pretty cool, guys. Well, I'm here to say this is pretty cool. It's not too big and cumbersome at all. Quality of finish is excellent. It looks really nice. Equipped with a cooling fan on top there should things get a little bit hot running through our peripherals here so on the side we have ac input we've got one of the charging stations here for our charging and the other charging station here for our balance charging so two charging stations on this unit now we have a dc power input here if we need it and we also have a Nice little clear film over the screen there, which is pretty good. And it feels really good, guys. It actually feels really, really well made. Some nice rubber feet on the bottom there, so it doesn't slip. Then let's plug up a couple of LiPos and see what's what. So this is the best feature that I love about this GT Power Charger. In the past, if you've got your balance charging hub here, you can only charge the same battery at once. You can't charge different multiple batteries off the same balance port uh, if you do that and you have a 2s a 3s and a 4s all together 
you're going to do some damage. This is the 400 water with your four ports. You can attach four different batteries up to it, which is fabulous. So I've got a 4S here, I've got a 2S, I've got a Lion pack here, and I have a 1500 4S here. We'll start with the top left, my 854S. So we're going to select LiPo balance. We'll hit enter and we'll scroll down to 850 which is 0.8 and it's a 4s so it automatically says 14.8 select enter again and the long press enter it'll just check the battery make sure everything's good we hit enter and we are charging away so then we simply select the next channel battery type lipo again Let's go to balance charge. This time I've got a 1500 2S on. So we'll scroll down to 1.5. And select enter again. It goes over to our voltage. So let's scroll down to 7.4 volts. 2S, we hit enter again. And long press enter. Checks the battery, confirmed. While we're here, let's quickly do the last two. 1500 4S, LiPo, balance charge, 1500 4S. That's already set up from last time, which is pretty cool. And my last one. Lion, there we go. Lion, balance, 3.5 4S, long press. And we are off. So there is an alarm sounding, which means somebody is fully charged. So this top left one here says full, finished. So we can stop that one. There you go, guys. Super compact, as I said. This is the feature that I love the most. There's nothing worse than coming back from a fly and having four different types of lipos, having to charge them individually uh, is a bit of a nuisance. So I love how you can just plug in four different power supplies at the same time, get everything charged up in the one hit. Uh, yeah, it makes life a whole lot easier and allows you to get flying a lot quicker. Definitely the deal breaker for me guys, that is why I am now changing over to this GT Power Pack. That is excellent, it's going to save me a lot of time and it's going to make life a whole lot easier. I'll just run through a couple of settings um, where you go through and select your battery type. It also has loading data, saving set data. Uh, user programs, settings, and uh, if you want to go into settings, it'll actually tell you the nickel little hydride sensitivity, NICAD. So it has certain parameters you can set. You can It tells you the cutoff temperature for the unit between 65, uh, at 65 degrees, it'll cut off. Uh, safety timer on, 300 minutes, it'll turn itself off. Capacity cutoff, so it's got some fail saves in here. You can turn your beavers off if the beeping is annoying you. Uh, input power low cutoff, 19 volts. And of course you can load factory data. Tells you the product version. This is version 1.0.3. Like I said, you will be able to do some firmware upgrades when they become available. Should you desire. Otherwise, you can just plug it in, charge away and fly away. A quick rundown, guys, of the two channel intelligent x2 mini charger let's have a look at the x4 and let's see what the differences are looking at the appearance of them both as you can see they are both fairly much identical the only difference will be the sides here we have two charging stations on the left and two on the right totaling four and the x2 has one and one really really nice guys super compact awesome build quality Again, thanks to my good friends at GT Power. Check out the website below, see where you can get this GT Power charger from. Keep an eye out for my B6 Mini review, which is coming up very, very, very shortly. This thing here is a 300 watt little powerhouse. Really, really nice. Well, if it wasn't pouring with rain, I could deplete some of these batteries, fly some of these quads, and yeah get these charges up and running but the weather here guys at the moment is atrocious so i don't actually need to charge anything at the moment maybe tomorrow gt power guys
four and two channel intelligent charger five stars from sky pilot really 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 nice check them out give me a thumbs up drop me a comment have you used these before do you want one do you need one should you have one you got any questions happy to answer them absolutely see you again next time bye for now